Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to talk about 10 tips that will help you stay keto even when you're stressed. We will start that list right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So one of the worst things that can happen to you when you are trying to lose weight or even maintain weight is stress. Yes, stress makes me do a lot of crazy things I didn't intend to do. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes you do crazy things, maybe go binge eating, it affects the scale because you get heightened cortisol, which makes you start storing fat. It's just a bad thing. And right now, with everything going on in our society, stress levels for everybody are through the roof. Yeah, and I have to learn how to do keto, not in spite of stress, but in the midst of stress. Yeah, and this isn't just with everything going on in society right now, but it could be at any time in your life. Maybe, you know, you're having issues at your job or you have tests coming up for school or just like in general, you saw something on the scale you didn't like, so that's stressing you out and you can't figure out like how you're gonna get everything done. So today we're gonna talk about 10 different little tips that are gonna help you stay keto even when you're stressed. I need these. <laughs> Now, this is going to be in no particular order. So, are you ready to get going? Let's do it. So, number one, don't sign the permission slip. Yeah, this is not a field trip. It's not a field trip. So, what we mean by don't sign the permission slip is don't give yourself permission to go off of keto because you're stressed. Because all that's going to do is make you gain more weight, make you get further away from your keto journey. So, what's going to happen is you're going to say, you know what? I'm so stressed. I deserve a cheat day. Then that cheat day becomes a cheat week, which becomes a cheat month, which becomes a cheat year. And then when you finally get back, you're up 35 pounds and have to go through all of this all over again. Yeah, this is not like your birthday where you're saying to yourself, well, I'm just gonna go off of keto for a weekend and then start back up on Monday. We don't know how long this is gonna last. Right. So if you say, hey, well, I'm just gonna be off keto while this is going on, you could really spiral. Yeah, and for the record, we don't advocate cheat days or off plan days. We feel like you should stay keto all the time, but especially when you're stressed, you don't wanna have these cheat days or off plan days. Number two, get dressed every day. Yes. Because your uniform cannot be pajama pants. My pajama pants, although comfortable, are way bigger than my normal size clothes. And if I wear my pajama pants all of the time, after a while, I'm gonna allow myself to fill up those pajama pants. So let's put on a regular outfit and I will even put on makeup. And I will manscape. Thank you for that. Because, yeah, we want to look nice for one another. When you look good, you feel good. But if you look like garbage, you're going to feel like garbage and you're going to allow garbage to go inside your mouth. And the bottom line is, is when you get up in the morning, the first thing you want to do, take a shower. First of all, when you take a shower, it's going to help just reduce that stress. Just standing in there, you know, getting that nice warm water on you, the smell of the soap, it's going to start relaxing you. But I love to every day, as soon as I get up, I read my Bible and then I get get in the shower even if I'm going to work to do a really messy dirty job because I get to go to work feeling refreshed and renewed and ready to take on that day and that's a great way to start your day with a little bit less stress so number three limit your snacking now let's face it we're all at home you know we may be grazing a little bit more you really do want to try to stick to your normal routine like if you were doing three meals a day try to stick to three meals a day. If you were doing intermittent fasting, try to stick to it. But if you are going to maybe grab a snack or something, make that snack something that's high in protein, low in fat, and almost no carbohydrates. Things like hard boiled eggs or maybe some beef jerky that doesn't have any sugar added. Because when you do that, at least you're not gonna throw yourself way off track. And if you have trouble with keto snacks, 
hide them from yourself if need be, right? And don't buy any more until this is over. Yeah, if you're like looking at something like perfect keto bars, which I absolutely love, if you have an issue with eating too many of them, hide them from yourself because if you eat three or four of those in a day, you're gonna really throw yourself off the rails. Number four, meal prep for everybody in your family. That's a good one. When you meal prep, that helps you be prepared throughout the day. This way you're not going into the refrigerator and grazing going, hey, what do we have to eat? Or what's gonna be for dinner? It also helps you to not order from places like Uber Eats and Postmates and places like that where they're offering all kinds of free delivery options. The best part about meal prepping though is when you meal prep, you're cooking and cooking definitely will help reduce your stress. Absolutely, now when you do cook for non-keto and keto people alike, put everybody's food into separate containers and label them, all right? Even your kids are your coworkers now, so you don't wanna be going into their meal prep. Now it may seem silly to meal prep for a toddler. A little bit. But they can actually get three or four servings out of a box of macaroni and cheese, let's say. And if you do not spread it out for them, you will be tempted to give them a portion of it and then eat the rest of the pot yourself. You're telling me that there's more than one serving in a box of macaroni and cheese? There is. I wish I would have known that 10 years ago. So number five, clean out your pantry. Now we've talked about this before when you like first get started on keto, but go through your pantry and look for all of the non-keto food, things that may trigger you when you're stressed. Now, if you're living in a house with a bunch of people who maybe aren't doing keto, find a specific area, maybe one shelf or one cabinet and put their food in there and put like a big label across it like, this is not Joe's cabinet or something like that. But this way, when you're getting that little stressed, you're not gonna go in and grab the kid's cookies, you know, your maybe a husband or wife's potato chips, things like that. Get it out of sight, and this way it's out of mind. Number six, schedule some movement. We are home, we're probably working from a home office, you're gonna be sitting down, maybe working at a computer for hours upon hours. Get up and get moving. Even if we can't be out and hanging out with our friends and interacting that way, we can still go for a solitary walk alone, get some sunshine and get some fresh air. Number seven. What is that signal? <laughs> That's how you signal number seven. Like that? It's a sports official thing. Or even if you ever watch Deadliest Catch, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I learned something new. <laughs> So number seven, try something new. Well, there you go. Break up your routine. Yes, exactly. So if you have certain movies that you watch over and over again, like Shawshank Redemption, oh. find a new one. Maybe find a new game to play with your family. Try karaoke. If you start busting up that boredom routine, you won't boredom eat. No Shawshank. So number eight. <laughs> Good. Limit negativity. If you need to check in with the news, schedule those times and put a time limit on it. You don't wanna have open grazing of the news. Yeah, if you have a bunch of negativity surrounding you, find a way to get rid of it, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, or like you said, the news. That's why personally I stay away from the news. Get rid of all that negativity and find things that'll help keep you positive. Like we said, watching a new movie or you know maybe just listening to some upbeat music. Number nine, try to make some new recipes. Yeah. Find some different foods that maybe you liked pre-keto, whether they be treats like simple cookies or entrees, like a nice chicken dish, and figure out a way to make it keto. Again, like we said before, when you're cooking in the kitchen, a lot of times that helps reduce your stress. Plus, maybe you'll find a new type of food that you could have as a keto option now. Finally, number 10, stay connected to the keto community. I think this is the most important one for reducing stress because when you're part of a community, the community will help lift you up. Go join our Facebook family group. There's a link for it down in the description. But these are people who are in there who are going through what you're going through, who are probably having similar stress things that you're having, and they can help point you in the right direction, give you ideas that may lift you up, 
and most importantly, keep you motivated. Absolutely, so take pictures, share stories, share struggles, share recipes. Let's not social media isolate ourselves. Yeah, now those are 10 ideas that we came up with on how you can reduce your stress and stay on keto even when you're stressed. But we wanna hear yours, so leave any suggestions you have for staying stress-free in the comments down below. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.